Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my next part in my Swatch My Collection series and I'm continuing on with polishes from the brand Picture Polish. So I have 10 more picture polishes to look at today. I do have, I think, two videos after this to do about picture polish. Let me know in the comments below which brand you guys want to see next and I will do my best to oblige, but today we are working with picture polish again. Before we begin, in the description box below, I will link the Picture Polish site, I will link their Instagram page, I will link a page to their stock stockists since they are an international brand, and then I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So at first we have Ethereal, and this is one of their new multi-chromes with the scattered hollow. This one primarily shifts from like a pinky fuchsia to a green to a blue to a purple. This is kind of one of those oil slick multi-chromes that goes all over the place and is absolutely beautiful. It's got that scattering of the hollow that all of these have. It has a really, really good two coat formula, very easy to use, easy to work with per the usual of picture polish. I am kind of over multi-chromes, but as soon as I saw these, I knew I had to have them. So I really, really enjoy these. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of ethereal and a glossy top coat. Continuing on with these multi-chromes, we have Serendipity, and this one starts off with like a teal base. It goes to a darker blue, a purple, and then a green at extreme angles. This one is also really good. All of these multi-chromes do have the same formula, same finish, everything like that. They're very easy to use. No complaints, no running, pulling, staining, anything like that. They don't dry texture. They're not hard to remove, even with the added element of the holographic micro flakies. They all laid very smooth. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of serendipity and a glossy top coat. So up next from the multi-chromes we have Epiphany and this one starts out as more of a royal blue and then it shifts to a royal purple in those greens at extreme angles and then very extreme angles you'll catch a glimpse of gold. This one also has the same kind of formula. These are very repetitive, very easy to use, no running, pulling, or staining. The holographic micro glitter or micro flakies that are in here lay flat, they're not hard to remove and it does dry decently glossy on its own. These will also look much different indoors, outdoors, in the shade, in low lighting and high lighting and every kind of different lighting. They're gonna be a different kind of color. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Epiphany and a glossy top coat. The last of the multi-chromes that I have for you today is called A Quiver, and this one starts out as a lighter purple fuchsia E shade. It goes to a darker royal purple and then green and gold at those extreme angles. This one and Epiphany are quite similar, but Epiphany does have more of a blue base and this one definitely has more of a purple base. It does have that same fantastic formula that's easy to work with. Picture polish pretty much across the board has a very nice consistent formula. Once again, this one dries decently glossy on its own. Nothing dries textured, nothing's hard to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of a quiver and a glossy top coat. Up next we have Bordeaux, and this is a deep vampy oxblood red base, and it does have those holographic micro flakies that is in a lot of the picture polish formulas. This one also has a fantastic two coat formula. These are very easy to work with. These are very beginner friendly polishes. Once again, this one's gonna dry decently glossy on its own, though I would recommend that top coat across the board for everything in today's video, just to make everything look nice and cohesive and smooth. Nothing in here dries textured, nothing in here is hard to remove, so in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Bordeaux and a glossy top coat. Up next is one that I feel like I've shared before, um, but I could be wrong. This is easily one of my favorite reds of all times. So this is Bridget from Picture Polish. This is a brighter cherry red with that same scattered holographic flake that goes on in a lot of their polishes. This one has a phenomenal formula. This is a very flattering red across the board. Every skin tone, this is going to look really, really nice on. It has a beautiful two coat formula with that same lays flat, dries glossy type finish that all of these have had so far. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Bridget and a glossy top coat. Up next we have Macaron, and this is another red with that scattered hollow. This one is more bright than the last one, more pinky undertones, um, but it does have those same scattered hollow flakes. Again, another two coat formula that's easy to use, easy to work with, zero complaints. This one also lies flat when you apply it, nothing dries textured or is hard to remove. You will want a nice glossy top coat just to make everything look nice and cohesive. But all of these also with the micro flakies look really nice with a matte top coat. It does help those flakies stand out. 
So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Macaron and a glossy top coat. Up next we have O'Hara and we're just kind of working down to the lighter reds of the shades, um, but it, it is also a red with those same micro flakies um, in it and you can tell they are very similar but they are just a little bit lighter than one another. This one also has more of pinky undertones to it as opposed to the last ones were very red. That same smooth formula that you can expect from picture polish is this one. So in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of O'Hara and a glossy top coat. Our last two polishes are the weird ones. Um, so first up we have Love and this is a bright, almost neon red jelly. This is a little bit of a letdown. This isn't what I like from Picture Polish per se. I like their flaky formulas. Um, this one's just, it's very thin, it's a little bit runny. Uh, it does kind of want to run down the side of your nails if you do too thick of a coat. But if you work in nice thin coats, you can build up three coats and still see visible nail lines. So it's kind of like a hit or miss polish. It's not going to be for everybody, but it is beautiful when there is a glitter involved, which brings us to our next polish. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of love and a glossy top coat. So our last polish today is Gilded from Picture Polish. This is a gold and silver glitter in a clear base and the glitters are large and small hexes. This one has a great formula as a topper. This isn't one that I recommend building up on its own, but I love kind of jelly sandwiches with these two colors, red and gold, go really, really well together in my opinion. So I love this combination, um, but as far as on its own goes, I would definitely not recommend that. You could sponge this on to get full opacity, but I hate sponging, so I would rather use it as a topper. This one is gonna dry slightly textured. It's not gonna be difficult to remove if you use it as a topper. If you sponge it on, it's gonna be extremely difficult to, to take off, but if you use it as a topper, it's pretty easy to take off, but it does dry a little textured, so you will want a nice glitter-eating glossy top coat to finish this one off. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see one coat of Gilded over three coats of Love plus a glossy top coat. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, like I said, what you guys want to see when I'm done with my picture polish swatches. Let me know what your favorite from today's video was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. I will talk to you again next time.